All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's past 11.30 now in Perth. So Auscad trade, uh, here it is. So I got in uh, yesterday. No, I got in on the first, sorry, later in the day <clears throat> on Wednesday. So uh, I did, I sold it uh, in a weakness here. And I was expecting a little bit of a bounce. Uh, it didn't do that. It sunk further, bounced a little bit down here. And I've now moved the stop loss to break even. We'll see what, what it wants to do. Now, this is a small position, obviously, 1% of the account risk. And, you know, my expectations here, I just sort of, it's carefree now. So I've got no risk on. <clears throat> it's sort of flattened out a little bit here. I mean, it gets to the lows of 95.79. It's actually been hitting lows of the week today. Uh, earlier in the day, so we'll see what it wants to do, you know, later. But again, stop losses at break even. The next time I'll be moving it is when it's at two percent uh, unrealized. So then I'll lock in one percent. I am sort of kind of. I have done methods where I might put it up here as well. Like if we get more weakness, I might move the stop loss to here as well. Though. So just based on the price action, and if it's really weak, um, I will sort of, uh, you know, use a bit of subjective assessment based on how the price action is looking as well. All right, so USD, obviously, I've covered that in the previous video. That was a losing trade. Now, um, the video that I put up very early this morning or last night, depending on when you watched it, where you were in the world, um, I used Camtasia, so I've downloaded that. Uh, it's not free. It was about $350 um, Aussie dollar. And it sort of lets me edit software, and it's quite easy to use as well, especially, you know, I'm not very tech savvy, so. But um, I hope it helped just go through my trade thesis on why I entered certain trades when I was back testing. That was a 15-minute uh, trial run on the Euro US dollar using Forex test to three. So um, if you've got any points or you'd, you'd like to see some more stuff, I, I probably will uh, edit this this one video now on Camtasia as well and just sort of, um, you know, go into details about why I ended the OzCAD trade and, you know, my ratings and when I wrote my journal and everything like that. But, you know, as a disclaimer, though, I don't really like to review the trades after I've sort of done them, like, to help you because really um, hindsight's twenty twenty. I mean, I really like this uh, this weakening. So I will, but at the same time, it's always best either when you're in a live trade and you see it and you sort of justify why you're entering. That would be my preference as a learning tool. And then for other more advanced traders to potentially, you know, give me some feedback and critique what I could have done better, especially USDN. That was a trade really where, um, you know, that wasn't the best in regards to me considering other factors at play. All right. So... Let's have a look at the majors, USD Swissy. This is interesting. I'm going to sip the coffee quickly. That's a daily chart of the USD Swiss. We'll go to the four hour. Oh. It's, you know, is there potential? I mean, I like this rally, but it's, um, it's the, uh, so the 55 is over the 200 on the four hour on the hourly though, but it's not on the four hour. Mm -hmm. I'll let that go for now. Uh, USD. Let's have a look at the USD CAD. See what see what that's doing. Yeah. <sighs> look. It's interesting. I mean, there is a little bit of intraday weakness. Oof, no. It needs to be down at the lows here, really, before I would go and say, you know, potential trade. I'll finish on the euro. Okay. This is pretty interesting. So it's continued to sort of weaken. Yeah. Look, I mean, a few moving averages here, don't I? I've got the 20, 55, I've got the 200. Um, 
Look, this is um, a potential sell here. I mean, I'll go back to the daily. It's a little congested, but yeah, so the US dollar is weakening a little bit. But I won't sell this leading into the NFP. What I like to wait for is how the European and the New York session sort of go. I find really my best entries are later in the day, not just an impulsive during the day. This is one of the curses of, um, you know, when if you are a full time trader, if you sort of manage your work schedule where you can have a week off in a month, which I've done. It's just a little dicey when it comes to entering during the Asian session. That's all. It can get a little frustrating. Um, but I might break this trade down a little bit in regards to why I see this as a potential sell trade. So I'm going to end the video now. Um, what you'll see is you'll see little speech bubble things and arrows and things like that going over what I see. And again, feel free to leave a comment. If you disagree or things like that, there was a gentleman on LinkedIn who said something about the USD yen is just going to be weaker at the end of the week. He said that Monday or whatever when I ended the trade. I sort of would prefer maybe a little bit more uh, depth of, of argument instead of just sort of, you know, well, it's a, it's a coin toss. But I understand the USD yen was quite overextended, but I've had trades where it will pull back a little bit, which I was expecting, and I was keeping going. So... You know, just because it's high doesn't mean it can just go higher. You know, that time and time again, it will just do that. So does it make sense? Absolutely not. It doesn't have to. It just, you know, if you've back tested something and you see it, you know, just sort of, you sort of have to take it. I mean, you, that's, that's trading. You can't just sort of say, what if, what if, you know, you don't know it. So that's why the risk is set and you sort of go for it. But really the entry was uh, 111.40. And I went over that in a previous video. So I didn't do that and I still would be in the game and it'd be profitable. But, um, you know, I did. That's why I minimized the risk because I was like, okay, the entry is not great. I should have probably passed on the trade, but um, this is where we're at currently. So daily candle's good, you know. I mean, this is how I look at a chart. This is my preference. So I traded this before. I got out at the top there. But, I mean, the daily uptrend is still there. It's just, you know, there's two ways to attack it. Um, you know, you really have a wide stop. Like, it would be like down here and you would just enter and just, you know, forget about the trade. Or go a little shorter term and, you know, be at risk for getting stopped out pretty quickly. And that's what I did. So, you know, you've got to sort of have a bit of skin in the game and deal with the losses and sort of move on from there. But I'm going to break down the euro us dollar uh in this video so you'll see some commentary and things like that if it helps let me know and i'll continue to do it guys bye for now and have a great day